We just need to make... I mean, that is a 24-24 Trellisara. Everyone, tell MTG here. Welcome to today's MTG Arena Crimson Vow new deck for you. We're going to be taking a budget deck straight to the arena today. And you know with me, budget it means super budget, so it's great for new players, great for people that are struggling with the arena economy. That is all of us. Um, but yes, this just has the five rares. Now, the five rares we are using are going to be, let's get them out of the way first before we look at some of the new cards. Righteous, Valkyrie, Brilliant Card. We've got a Cleric theme here in the life game. So whenever an Angel or Cleric ends battle under control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness, and then stuff can get a pump as well. Now, this is... It feels like a broken deck for budget. It really does life gain. We've added some really cool cards here, and this is one from the new set as a two of. Now, upgrading, put more of these in straight away. You want more of these in. Uh, Voice of the Blessed, whenever you gain life, put a 1 1 counter on it. As long as it has four or more 1 1 counters, it gets flying and vigilance, and then it gets plus 1 1 counters. As long as it's got 10 or more, it's indestructible. And you can really, I have once, with the amount of draws and, you know, perfect plays, got the counters on this. So it comes up to like 14, 14, 16. It just goes insane. Absolutely insane. So let's look at the new cards we're playing. Start at the big one, Sigardian Paladin. Uh, it's a 4-4-4-4, four, 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 four. very nice. It is a human knight, so it's not going to trigger the clericness. Um, as long as you put one or more 1-1 one, one counters on a creature this turn, it has Trample and Lifelink. But the important part of this is when we're putting counters and everything, we don't want little 1-1 one, one blockers blocking everything. Anything with a counter, we can pay 3 and target creature control gets a plus 1, sorry, creature you control with a plus 1 counter on it, gains Trample, Lifelink until end of turn. Really good, massive lifelink swing, or potentially, I've had um, uh, Voice of the Blessed as a one-shot win. It's been mental. Um, so what else new are we going to be playing? Um, we are going to be playing, where is it? Radiant Grace. So this is an interesting card, though. It feels a nice little one. We're going to put two of these in there. Give same Vigilance, which is nice sometimes, and then an extra little bump. But when it comes off, you enchant player, then the creature's enchanted player enter the battlefield tapped which is pretty cool because we want to be getting through with our creatures so stopping them you know putting up the one one pests or anything like that that could potential block and do you know the little eye twitches that come out the shambling geese everything like that if they come in tapped you know it's, it's they always want to block with them this means we potentially we can just go straight through and get an attack now we've only got two so it's not going to happen a lot of the time but i just feel like it's a new card and as soon as there's a two of i just want to test it out and see how good it is now, we do have some arena cards in here, uh, because if you're building on a budget, they are very helpful. Uh, my personal view, as you've probably heard in previous videos, but it's essential to this deck. Um, so, you know, when you're running less rares, Hallow Priest, whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 counter on it, we will be gaining life because we've got Impassioned Orator that you can play as arena cards straight in standard. Creature ends battle, gain one life. Uh, the veterans well here, Creature ends battle, gain one life. Prosperous Innkeeper, creature comes in the battle, gain one life. You see the theme here, Cleric Class, if you gain one life, you gain that much plus one. And you can go up the levels with this as well, and it's really cool as we put the extra counts and stuff when target creature attacks. Oh, it's just it's just brilliant. I love it. Um, Celestial Unicorn will gain from you gaining life as well. It's just a vanilla 3-2, but when you gain life, it becomes a lot bigger as well. This is an all-star. Trellisara Moon Dancer. Gain of life, the scry is really cool. And this one, like all of them, will just get bigger and bigger. These little two drops, because you can see we've got, we're heavy on the two drops here. We run 30 creatures. The average CMC is only 2.0. So we're running 22 lands here. We've got the budget Arctic tree line that can come in for us, forests, plains, and a couple of field of ruin, because you know we want to be playing these, killing those Hall of Giants and cards like that. They're a, a little bit problematic for us sometimes when they come into play. And there's just a lot of you know creature lands around so it pays for you to have a couple in there and they're their budget as well because they are uncommon um we will talk about little upgrades at the end of the deck there's a couple you can put in there but this is to be honest it's ready to go it is ready to go from practice it's been good um devouring tendrils one last mention of this power to target creature we do damage but then we gain two lives so everything can get pumped as well um, but this is going to be you could go snowlands and use um uh, the green fight card. That, oh my god, I just can't remember the card. Such a bad MTG YouTuber. Um, but you know the one I mean. Uh, does damage. Um, but we're not going to go snow. 
But we'll talk about that little upgrade at the end. And I'll find that card and we could talk about that and maybe ways that you could improve the deck if you want to upgrade a bit. But be ready for the budget life gun. I just hope it plays as well as it did in practice because this has been absolutely amazing. I was like, why didn't I press record? But anyway, let's get to some gameplay. So here we go. We're playing a Gumby Dog. I'm in Platinum now. We're taking this to rank today. A budget decked in ranked, I know. We're, we're going to give it a go. So, we're going with the tree line. We can't turn one play. Um, this is like we talked about the other day. The first thing you do in budget decks is upgrade your land bases. If you're crafting cards, land is where it's at. I know it feels very boring to, you know, craft lands, but it's essential. You know, if this was able to come in untapped or anything like that, we could potentially then play that turn one. But we will play the tree line. It was, you know, when we ate shock lands, it was amazing. But, you know, the pathways are good. You could play the pathway. Um, we're going to go in with a Prosperous. That comes into play. And we'll put the veteran. So even though... We could have gone turn one, turn two. We could have potentially had three creatures on the board um, with a pathway. Um, not that pathway, because it's red. Um, but Landfall is a very good budget deck as well. Uh, gaining life, putting counters. This is what we want to be doing. Comes in as a two, three. We're not going to be blocking there. No blocks. Okay. Right. Let the fun and games begin. Um, which one do I want to... I, actually, I'm going here first. I'm going with the Righteous Valky. Big 2-4. Gain a bit of life. Um, could be Pumpage there, but I'm going to take a chance. Taking a chance. If they use a Pump Spell, they use a Pump Spell. They kill the Prosperous Innkeeper, which they're not. Okay. Now, we, this can be very explosive, landfall. Let me just put my bat on its perch. Still haven't remembered to change that. So both two threes. They do have the instant speed to sack a land, get two lands, which will then make that a lot. Yeah, here we go. Up to two basic lands. So these are going to be attacking for 12. <laughs> It's aggro, definitely. Nice, comes into play. Yeah, resolve all. That's 12 damage right there. Um, no blocks. We're going to gain life. We're going to gain life. Uh, Trosara is okay. Um, what do we want to do, though? What's the best thing to do? Hmm... Do we just go with a simple one of these? No, we're going to go with Trellisara. Uh, another Innkeeper is definitely staying on the top. Innkeeper, we're back up to 11. Back up to 15. And we're not going to be blocking with that. We may block with that. So we're just attacking for one at the moment, but we're back up to 15 life, um, which is why we can take some damage sometimes now. With Prosperous coming in, we'll be able to play two creatures here. More pumpage there. Now, we know that there's an, um, shenanigans that the opponent can do. Now, this is Sorceress that are going to play this for five. They'll have to play it now, though these will pump up. We honestly could think about taking one out then. Um, if they do do that, we will have to block one. Uh, but it doesn't mean they get trampled. Now they're, they're looking at Trellisara. Five mana. Attack for 12. We can do a lot of damage next turn. Yeah, okay. So it is coming in. Two coming in. We can block one. Now, this does gain us double life. We we have to block one. We can't really take 12. 
I don't think we can take 12. So we're block one. We could block the other. No, we're going to block one. Take six. I was thinking about killing one. Okay. Prosperous comes in. Shenanigans happen. Um, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Um, we will play. Um, I, don't know, I think we'll go with Hallowed. Auto. Here we go. Keep on top. Here we go. Keep on top. Back up the 12. Here we go. <laughs> Had to get back up the 15. Um, we're attacking for 9. And leave out 3 blockers. Do 11 damage. Lovely jubbly. We've got the Hallowed, the Prosperous, the Prosperous. A big 9-9. Nine, nine. 15 life is nice. And six toughness for trample. So here they go. Plus two twos. Now, if they do attack, we're still definitely going to block. No matter what. And they've got layer of the Hydra. They could attack it. But I would always say 15 life is enough. But Gumby over there may have some tricks in hand. Red and seven. Oh, that's... That's fine. They're going to make a blocker, probably. Um, fair blocker. It's a seven. Maybe they put their hands into it. I've only got two cards there, though. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And a bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty. Okay. Consider we've been stuffed on land here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing this. Here we go. Land, lovely. Lovely. And keep again. Tredasara. Uh, we will go in for... I mean, they could block with this. I'm not too bothered about that and then fly over at Ren oh no they probably then no do that and then they have to either block with the 7-7 seven, seven if they want to beat down the hallowed priest or they lose two creatures they've only got one card in hand and we're leaving back four blockers here um, so they have to block both or they die So, block there, block there, that's fine. Lovely. We've got two creatures coming down next turn. Three blockers, 19 life. So, we just need to get above that seven life. Everything we get plus two, two. Now, we're quite aggro. Landfall's quite aggro, but this is probably the longest match I've ever had against aggro. <laughs> uh, the Landfall deck. What have they drawn? Uh, what would be good for them? Land is fine. Um, so if they attack, we just block with one. But I can't... I suppose they can make a creature there, block three. That would be one, two with Tresselara and... Liar, two, three, four. They'd still be alive. That's about it. One more spell. What are we doing? Anything else, Gumby? Gumby is thinking. So play the. Okay. That was good play. Like it. Wasn't expecting that, but that was really good. And we've still got the 12 12 there. Reveal the top four. Get two lands. Okay. So, in we go. Lunark. 
Uh, that can go to the bottom now. Bottom. I love the scry action on Trellisara. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Just going through the deck, seeing what we need to find. Let's play Celestial. Um, no, we still put that one to the bottom. Get more life to the bottom again. Um, Hello Priest can stay. Um, Hello Priest can stay. And I think... Hmm... 26 life. We're not far off. I mean, we attack in. They've only got two landing. We really need to kill that, but we can't because they, uh, they're block, block, take two, put it to one. Uh, I think we just go there. We don't mind them making another blocker, really. Because we're going to be gaining life next turn, so... And hopefully everything will be pumped. We're just with this. Celestial Unicorn's going to be big. Relic. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing has trample. So as long as nothing has trample, they could, you know, speed up a lair if they wanted. Reveal the top cards. Every Got the lands, got a den. Rich soil grows mighty forests. Give it a bit of haste. And that should be it. Right, we've got two creatures this turn. Hello Priest comes in. And we can play Lunar Veteran as well. So, here we go. Lots of life gain coming. Uh, Voice of the Blessed can definitely stay there. Uh, yes, Voice of the Blessed. Now, they can activate the lair. Yep, that's staying. Things are getting big. Yep, stay here. <laughs> this deck can just go off. It's so fun to play. Oh, dear. Luminous comes in. A little flyer. That's what we want. We just need to make... I mean, that is a 24-24 Trellisara. Blessed can stay in. Blessed. We're up to 33 life. We have some absolutely humongous creatures here. Humongous creatures. So, attack, attack, attack. Two, three, four, five. Um... Attack in. Um, block there. Get that down to one. And go there. 34 life. I feel like we're pretty safe. We've got a 9-9 block around a 1-1. Um, we're going to try and deal with a little bit with Ren 7. So they can't minus 3. Uh, these... They can do the Hydra to block one of the big ones. 20, 27, 27, 27, and a 15, 14 Unicorn. It's insane. Opponent just said, that's enough. Oh, minus 36. That is an epic, epic win. Here we go. Next game, next game. Minstu MTG. Um, double green doesn't help us, so we're going to have to mulligan that one. That is a lot better. So we could go turn one. Um, we go first. We're going to keep six. And um, out of three jobs, we're going to go there. Uh, we go for turn two, Prosperous into Luna. I'm going to get that for Righteous, but I'm going this to, you know, start the aggro in because we can play Hallowed next turn. There's the 1-1s. 
Okay. Oh, blessed. Blessed. Change of plan. Change of plan. It's a 4 4 already. You see what I mean? It's a 4 4 already. No attacks. Straight in 4 4. When you get the perfect start with these and then you play the voice of the blessed, it's just so good. Now, I'd, we'd really like to draw land here. We'd love to draw land, please. Eye Twitch comes in. These annoying blockers. These are what I'm talking about, which is why we need. There we go. Um, we will attack for six. Um, do we want to attack with no? We're, we're just attack with six. Just a six, you know, casual six. They get their eye twitch. Really annoying. So probably getting some. Yeah. Oh, the necrotic was for us. Okay. Damn it, they found that other black mana. So voice is going. Um, but to play it, we're going to get some damage in. We really need that land, though. Really need that land. Okay. Fair enough. Come on, land. There it is. Let's go in with Righteous. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh. Let's attack him for 13. Opponent down to 9. Now, we just need to not have a Wrath. Please. No. Exile. Let's sort the bat out. Oh, there's the mana. Oh, side twitch. You know, I was thinking Shadow of... Shadow of Exile, my stuff. Other specimens. Okay. They got the flying blocker, which is annoying. Um... Okay, bit of flying now, I think. Um, I think I will just go here. I will go like that. Um, any death turns? We go attack, 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 attack. Uh, they're going to have to block. 10-10. They will get some more exile. Um, I am a little bit worried. I'm not going to play these. I don't think. Because I'm thinking of Meat Hook Massacre coming in. Um, down to three. Get to learn. More exile. See, I could play Luna. But I suppose if Meat Hook does come in, it still gives me a creature to play. I'm not sure why they left that back. So they've gone for another Necrotic Fumes, which tells me I'll play another creature. Yeah, I'll play another creature. Just because they got that, and I think if they had the Mass Spell, they wouldn't have got that, potentially. I could be completely wrong. And they might have drawn it. Four life. They need some blockers. They can make two blockers here. But then they can't exile. Um, attacking in. So this does worry me. Go to five. We've gone pretty much all in here. What's coming? What's coming? Am I about to get wiped? Blood in the snow is a thing. Oh, eaten alive. Okay. One mana. So there's no blood in the snow. That's decent. Um, but we still got the win here, even if they get rid of Hello Priest. Block, block. Now we don't. Okay. Trellisara. Do I just keep these back? There's literally no point. Because they don't get pumped. I think I keep these back. So they can block, block. They have to block one of these. And they have to block. Well, they don't have to. They could take care of a veteran, but then we could just replay it. Take away the innkeeper. Go down to one, but then get two back. Okay. Up to six. Six. 
Um, I'm still holding back. I might be playing a bit too careful, but, you know, if they just do a massive board white, I've got nothing to play. So I might as well... There's that goes. Okay, so we've still got two creatures there. They are just using a lot of spot removal. So they haven't found their blood in the snow yet. There's the massacre. Okay. Uh, so I was glad that I didn't play everything in. Keeping back was uh, definitely the sensible play. There's a land, which is perfect. Um, so where do we go? So which one should we go for? Um, let's go with Trevisara. And we'll go with one from the sideboard. And leave as we go. Punch got two cards in hand. They need to make a creature to exile. Drawing cards, drawing cards. That is just an all-star of a card. Deadly Dispute. Deadly Dispute again. Three. Still got six mana, seven mana. Still able to do a board wipe. I mean, our life is just not under threat at all. This is what we can hopefully withstand the board wipes. We've got 30 creatures in the deck, which is what, you know. My children drench their hands in the blood of my So they make the blockers. That's fine. And I, the generous one. Lotus Cobra comes in. A land. Hmm. We attack over there, so then they do lose their blocker. That's fine. Lose one of the blockers. We gain a life. Then stuff happens. Lord counter. Okay. Righteous Valkyrie will stay there. So they can't make another minus three. They can exile. Which is annoying, but everything's going to get plus two next turn. Down at five. On, run. It's still a tricky match, match in the balance, this one. <laughs> They've been two really good games so far. Now, if they take the reach out, this could honestly pump up, and then they can't block it. Because this is the obvious one they probably... This or this is the obvious ones that they want to take away. But then they possibly sacrifice the Cobra. I mean, that was a good draw. They still got some decent cards. Right, okay. Counter. Counter, counter, counter. Right. So... Hmm. I think we have to go like that. The trouble is, they, it's going to make tokens. It's going to go up. But if we don't keep attacking, there's no way we're going to get this win done. The double block in there, which is completely fine. We gain another life. Opponent gains and gets the triggers. We're on 37 life. So still, they can make it's just so in the combination of massacre and the queen is going to be so hard to do unless we can just amass the field. Twitch is ah oh, such a good draw because it just gets to that sideboard and they just make loads more blockers. We're gonna we are going to struggle a little bit now. Um, because we attack, they kill the two blockers. Valky goes. Yeah, this is going to be tricky getting that final bit of damage in. I mean, we're under no threat. We've got 10 more cards in our library. <laughs> 38 life. In exchange for loyalty. Uh, but we've literally just got a 1-1 now. Okay, there's a land. 
no attacks. Yeah, totally fine. Uh, totally fine. Put that into play. Saw the hallowed priest there. Okay, nice. It's bold to bargain with me. Three twos, menace reach two two. Uh, no blocks. Our life is fine. At the moment, I got a feeling it's going to be dwittled down, and this is going to be an epic encounter of a game. Two massive lot. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, um, no. Okay. Yeah, I think even at 32 life, I think we're on the losing end now. We just couldn't get that final bit of damage in. Opponent finding everything they need. Okay. My children Draw. Lot of feed in our opponent. We're actually going to get attacked here again. The life is going to whittle down. Still got enough life, though. We're nearly below our start. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Arena has decided. It will not give me any more cards. You have had enough blockers. More fool you for only having 30 creatures in your deck. Okay, 23 now with a lot of attacking coming at us. Opponent up to a decent life where they can just keep. They're not under threat anymore. Fine removal. This is going to be GG's. We'll see what we draw. Uh, we were just drawn out of this game. And just hit by mass removal. And a trailer Enough. So, an epic win, and that was certainly an epic loss. Right, here we go. Playing Dr. Benway. Right, so, open in hand. I think we can keep this one. Prosperous Innkeeper, a little bit of Radiant. We can go in with the Arctic Tree Line first. Keep seven. The bat's going crazy. Oh, that's a good draw as well. We still go... Hmm. Yeah. Prosperous Innkeeper comes in next. Possibly Mono Black over there. So... Oh, white. I like it. Um, yeah. Let's go Prosperous. We, we've got enough lands there, so I'm going to play... Cleric as well. Get that life gain in. So white zombies, maybe mono black zombies, would be cool. Heartless Rider, three one. Another non tongue dice created two two zombies. They have to decay? No, it doesn't. Okay, no blocks. Take the three. Um, let's go. Prosperous. Gain lives. Trenasara. Keep voice of the blessed there. Keep voice of the blessed. And a second. Might as well. We still can block one as well. We've got the 4 4 here. Probably got removal in hand though. This is mono black we're talking about. But in form of removal, we have tainted adversary, which is nice. Tainted adversary. So we can go land. Voice of the Blessed, which is nice. Gain life. Gain life, gain life. Um, we don't want the second one of them. Put that to the bottom. More life, more life. Now, they're going to block this with the old Death Touch. Uh, land, don't need that either. Um, but when it becomes transformed, opponent's creatures will be coming in tapped, which is nice. So, 
We'll attack in. Vigilance, eh? Going to be blocked by Tainted. We'll be very surprised if it's not. Very nice. Nice. Bit of Malakir, eh? Bit of Malakir. That comes in. Comes in tapped. Untap. This is going to help us a little bit, though. Unicorn in hand. And, of course, we can get it back as well. Is opponent just going to hold out? We need to get rid of that Tainted, so we need to draw our removal spell. And to give this flying is where possibly this deck may struggle unless they're running a new big 6-5 Trampler. Um, surprised we've not been hit by a removal yet. Come in tapped. Okay, land. Counters. Counters. So flying and vigilance. Let's get over there and we just need to pray. But no, removal. Come on, there's a land. I like the lands. Come on. I mean, we can get it back now with Cleric Class. Which is what we'll be doing. Um, yeah, no blocks coming in. We're on loads of life. Uh, no blocks. A decade. That goes. They did get another one. Comes in tapped, though, and any creature comes in tapped. White comes in tapped anyway. Hey, uh, sweet. Um, what do we want to get about? Let's play this. Should have played that first. That's an absolute punt. I'm so sorry about that. Um, should have done that first. Let's attack in with the 7 6 and the 8 8. We are punt. Shouldn't be doing that on ranked. Um, let's do that. Because I would have had counters. And basically nearly won the game. So, punt city. Hopefully I'll get away with it. Opponents coming in all in, which does say something. Um, block. We're on 26 life. I think we could, I think it's just an alpha attack from opponent just before they quit. They do struggle with the zombies. Uh, with the flying, sorry. Comes in. Okay, now if they do have removal, it doesn't matter because Radiant has done some serious work here. Meat Hook Massacre for four. Gain some life. Up to five. We just attack in for the win. I didn't let us attack in, Dr. Benway, but yay. Right. Here we go, playing Dave Terrell. With the fancy new avatar. What do we have? What do we have? Oh my god, that's... Terrible. That's, that's, that's much better. Okay, so we're, we'll get rid of one of the Prosperous, potentially. Or do you want to get... Oh yeah, I do like old Radiant. And we want to keep the Celestial, keep that. So we can deal with one, get the pump. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. Keep six. Ditch one of these. Okay. Nice bluey owl sleeves over there. A lead off with our planes red. Okay. I'm going two in, you know. I'm going two in. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm doing that. And then I'm going to play Trellisar now. If we get three mana, I'll do both. Pan's like, what is this? What is this craziness you've dropped? I've just played the Den of the Bugbear, and you've already come in with two. Flying haste. Ooh, okay. Ooh, interesting. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we're going with Trellisar. Drew the wrong man, but hey. Um, don't want that. Do want that. Attacking for two. Okay, so we've got a lot of pressure on now with Trellisara. Um, out of three damage range, which is nice. Especially Serration is okay. 
Okay, so express iteration with blue and flying dragons. I'm thinking, is it dragons? Stop flying, you bat. Drive me bay. So let's get another big crit. We'll get Celesto in that will be, you know, potentially big. Okay. Celestial, no blue mana are open, which is good for us. The unicorn. Um, I'm actually going to put that there because I want. I need to find white mana. More counters, please. Let's make these creatures big. Um, I need white mana, please. And attack in for eight. So, win on board. What's coming? Hopefully, none sort of wrath. I mean, these are fairly big, which is good. Trellisara at least might stay. Uh, five damage to each. I can't remember how much that spell burned the house down. I think that's five mana, though. Um, pretty sure that's five mana. Uh, getting rid of these does stop the life gain a little bit, but we've got this as well now. Uh, we can play Radiant Grace next. Dave is thinking. It's like, how can I beat this budget madness? Okay. Flying lifelink haste. Just want to get this in. Stop those dragons. Okay, dragon fire. Does deal with that, so that keeps opponent alive. So yeah, is it dragons? Yes, it is. Come on, white mana. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. No. Counter, please. No. And there it is. Is it dragons? Dealt with by Trellisara. Absolutely amazing. Love it. We are playing Alice Tun. Um, one man land. We don't want that land. We're Mulligan. We take the two. Keep six. Um, tendrils is nice. So I'm actually going to ditch one of the impassions. Can't remember. We know we don't go first. It would have been nice to go first. Turn my ball. Oh, we do go first. I can never tell. I'm so bad at it. I can never tell. Getting passioned in. Um, play Hallowed next. Uh, Frost Snarl. Frost Snarl. Um, gonna attack in. Arm that bat down. There is a hall. Invasion of the Giants, okay. So yeah, got to be quick, got to be quick, got to be quick. Big, big, big stuff coming. Attacking for three. Noise. Reveal the dragon, it's going to be cheaper, it's coming in. But we do have devouring. So come. Halloween Priest is flashing, I don't like that. And in Passion Orate is flashing. Okay. I don't mind that too much, you know. Here we go. Um, two of these, eh? I'm going to keep that for the moment. I'm going to keep that. It's a nice removal at the moment. Next giant spell costs that. So something big could be coming in. Something huge. It is the Quake Bringer, but we can deal with the Quake Bringer. Opponents can't gain life. We just need them not to deal with that, please. I mean, we've got two. <laughs> so we can do something. Okay, lovely. Damage. Gain life. Keep that on top. Oh, just one short. 
Down to one. Just one short. 26 life. Opponent on one. Four damage. We keep the hallowed. We keep the hallowed, though. For the win. Come on. We take the Giants out with the budget deck. We've had some good wins on rank today. We ranked up halfway through Platinum Tier 4. It's been a long video. There was an even longer 39 minute match against Control that I'm sorry, it just made the video far too long. But yeah, it was a game that I lost, just, you know, full disclosure. But it just went on for ages and I just needed to get like three life and I just couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the deck. Um, we're talking about maybe a few upgrades for the budget deck. So hopefully here at the end. Now, obviously, the, the pathways are going to be great to upgrade your lands straight away. You know, branch pathway, put that straight in there. You could even keep a couple of these. But to be honest, maybe just one or two and then putting these in, would you know, is definitely a benefit towards the deck. I would up Voice of the Blessed. Just absolutely brilliant. Love it. What do you think of Radiant Grace? Maybe it has to replace that, but I still think it's it's pretty decent. Um, Cleric Class brings stuff back. Now, we we didn't see this much. Um, we saw it once when it was too late, um, unless that was in the, in the... Maybe it was in the other game that I didn't put up. Um, but I feel like this is good, but maybe you could swap it for something else, maybe another Righteous. I leave that up to you. I like the cards. Um, I like the ability to give something with the bomb one counters, trample and lifeline. I think it's a good way to get through, but I, you know, I would leave that to you. Now, you could turn these to frost lands if you want, and then you could play faceless haven as the lands as well. Potentially, maybe drop one of the field of ruins and put in, you know, any man or another of them. Uh, then that would put in as well uh, the green card that I couldn't remember to start, which is Blizzard Brawl, which is nice. Devouring Tendrils is thematic for the deck and does well because we get big, big stuff and can deal with most things. Um, but yeah, that's another option for you to do as well. Uh, but that's, I think the deck works just as well as is. And if you don't need to, you don't really need to upgrade it. It just works brilliantly. Um, hope you've enjoyed these. Um, I put a lot of work into these budget decks. So I really just appreciate the support of the likes and the comments and everything like that. And like, if you want to support me further, you, got, you would have got to see this deck list early. If you're a Patreon, a nice little perk and you could have been playing this already. Um, so, you know, there's other stuff in there as well. Check it out if you want to support me just that bit further. But thanks a lot for watching the video today. If you didn't check out yesterday's video make sure you go and check it out that was Demi Poppet Stitcher but I hope you enjoyed the video you lot take care and I'll see you on the next one